Hey everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Ben Fisher. I am a Google My Business Platinum Product Expert. And today what we're going to talk about is the scary situation of when you have been suspended. First thing I want to say is chill out, relax. Everything is going to be just fine as long as you are within the guidelines, which we're going to get to in a moment. So you may have gotten an email at this time saying that your listing has been suspended due to quality guideline issues or you may have gone to business.google.com and seen this notification on your home or your info tab which says that you have been suspended. That's fine, it's no problem. Sometimes people get suspended for no reason whatsoever, by the way. And those are called false positives. Other things to note here is you're gonna notice that you don't have your post tab. Also, if you click into insights, you're not gonna see any of your insights. However, if you click into reviews, you are going to see that you do have reviews. You just don't have the ability to reply to those reviews. Um, one important thing I want to mention here before moving on is, to, is that this dashboard URL that you have up above, you're going to need this when you do a reinstatement. So you might as well just go ahead and copy that. But also more importantly, do not remove the listing from your dashboard. This can cause you to lose all of your media, as well as detach the reviews from the listing instead, uh, uh, instead of getting them back. Okay, so moving on. The preferred way and method here is to actually just click on learn more directly from the dashboard. If you click on learn more, what you're gonna to come to is you're gonna to come to this Google My Business help page. On this help page, what it's gonna basically tell you is, is that A, to fix the suspended listing, you should check out the guidelines, look at restricted content guidelines, and then more importantly, you can request for a reinstatement. The main reason I wanted to show you this kind of process is because what it also do is it'll key into the proper account, so that way you'll get an email regarding your reinstatement back to this account, whatever that may be. Okay, so let's move on, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you the guidelines real quick. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you do read through all of the guidelines one line by line. Again, just relax, go over the guidelines, make sure that you are 100% an eligible business. Um, some common things that I see is where the name of the business will, for instance, include keyword descriptors or city descriptors. These are not allowed unless they are how you actually absolutely represent yourself in the real world. If you're showing your address, for instance, it should be on your uh, logo that's on the on your door or the name that's on your door or say on your car if you have a vehicle. OK, moving on from there, the next big thing I usually see is with addresses. With addresses, if you're inside of a UPS store or say a place that offers virtual offices, you might get suspended. And even if you do have an executive office, Google is looking to see that you are actually a real legitimate business. So it's a manual review. And then finally, what we're gonna do is, is once you've checked everything out, maybe you've made some changes, you'll request for reinstatement. And that's what we're gonna go over in our next video. So thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on the community and talk to you soon.